Good morning. Welcome back to Lowry at Home. I'm your host, Naturalist Kirk. On today's show, Naturalist Elise brings us some information about wood ducks that she has living in her backyard. Take it away, Elise. Hi, this is Naturalist Elise, and today we're going to learn about wood ducks. When we think about ducks, most of us think about the common mallard. that we can see here. But if we look over here to the left, we can see some wood ducks. They are our second most common duck that we have in Minnesota, and they're a little more secretive. He is probably our most colorful duck that we get in Minnesota. And she's a little more camouflaged because she spends more time on the nest. I want you to notice that around this pond, there are a lot of trees and that helps attract wood duck. Now, if you look carefully in this video, you can see wood ducks somewhat camouflaged on the edge of this pond. We're going to try to get a closer look and see if we can see them. There they go. Hard to sneak up on. They're a little more secretive than their more common relative, the mallard. And they like these ponds that are in the woods because they like to eat things like acorns. And if an acorn has fallen into the water, they will happily eat it. What you'll notice when you see wood ducks swimming around is that they are not diving underwater, but they're eating plants at the surface of the water. Loons, as well as some species of ducks, will dive down and catch fish underwater. Mallards and wood ducks don't do this. They're what we call dabbling ducks because they dabble or eat at the surface. As we look here into this woodland pond, what do you see that doesn't look right? If you guessed this house on a tree, this wood duck house, you are right. If you put wood duck houses and other bird houses on a tree, you're just asking for them to become raccoon feeders, meaning the raccoons will just climb up the tree, reach into the house, and eat the bird or the eggs that are in there. This is the type of setup you're going to want for your wood duck house. You're going to want it on a pole instead of attaching it to a tree. And as I said, this is true with any type of bird house that you're thinking about putting out. Don't attach them to trees. Take a look at this wood duck house and see if anyone is using it yet. got this predator guard down below it to keep raccoons and other animals. It's got some wood chips on the bottom and this chicken wire mesh so that baby ducks can climb out once they're hatched. We're here close to the water facing south and a little bit east so it warms up quickly in the morning. If you have questions about wood ducks or anything you've seen in our video today, please leave your questions in the comment section below. This is Naturalist Elise. Thanks so much for joining me to learn about wood ducks today. Get outside. 
Thank you, Elise. That was fun to see. Now I tell you what, this week has got a few days left in here. We're just getting started. We've got more episodes coming your way. Don't forget though, Friday, we're going to have our Ask Me Anything QA session with Mr. Fox and Mr. Brett. So put your questions down in the comments for Mr. Fox and Mr. Brett, and they'll be sure to answer them on Friday. Looking forward to that. See you all here tomorrow for another Lowry at Home.